Okay, so just a quick little video here. I accidentally ordered um, this control unit, um, actually I should say Prodigy um, upgrade, and I ordered it accidentally for this system right here. So whenever you have the IQ in conjunction with this Silent Drive HD, then this thing needs to be programmed differently. Right now, this is programmed for Silent Drive Plus. Um, it will not work with HD, which is that thing. Okay, and so um, the let me put this aside. If you have a panel that just has the IQ box and the CPU is part of the big cover that covers the solenoids, then you actually have a Silent Drive Plus and not HD. When it's HD, you have the IQ box and you have that box and they work in conjunction with each other. So I'm gonna show you how to make it so that this thing will go back to um, HD because it's set, once again, it's set right now to Silent Drive Plus. So remove the four screws right here, right here, right there, two on the back, and then gently pull this thing off. But be careful though, because the Bluetooth antenna um, is connected to the Bluetooth receiver board, which is, that is the Bluetooth receiver board. So you don't wanna, actually this antenna, you, you can actually pull it off easily if you want to. So you don't have to be, I mean, just be careful, okay? So, um, so all you have to do is look for a jumper, which is right there next to those two buttons, okay? See those right there, see that jumper? All you have to do is pull that off, and then by pulling that off, you then make this, so I'm gonna pull it off, or just two buttons, or I mean two pins, and so now when this thing boots back up, it will boot up as HD. Um, instead of Silent Drive Plus. And then to make it go to Silent Drive Plus, then you just put this little jumper back where it was. Okay, so I just thought I'd share that with you. And um, thanks to Brad at Piano Disc who showed me how to do that. Okay, see ya.